Hey, yo, Lil Bun. What's going on, everyone? Straight out of Compton here, back at it again with another video. But we're not talking about Edison Format today. We're not talking about Go Format today. We are talking about the deck and the list that forgot to have a forbidden list, Chaos Yada Lock. So I have this list prepared here for you guys today because I had a little match yesterday with someone who was interested in playing. Um, I probably play this format very briefly once a month, if even. It's not a format I play pretty often, but I do enjoy very a lot because it is the format where that is the ban list dot deck format where you play all the power spells in the world and the power cards and just blow them blow your opponent out uh because your deck and your hand and your field mean absolutely nothing in this format you could just lose on a whim just from opening or drawing one of these power spells or your opponent seeing it before you so um this is one of the more optimized versions that I had of the list. Um, still on the Triple Chaos Monsters as we are in GOAT format. Um, Triple Kai Kill, probably the best card of the format to ensure that. These two guys right here. Excuse me. These guys here are um, pretty much kept that check because if any of them drop, it's pretty much a problem. Scientist, the boy, Sangin to grab the Scientist, the Sangin, and the Witch. And then Witch could obviously grab the Triple Thunder Dragon, Sinister Serpent, or Yada Garasu. So... Lots of power within there. And obviously we have the power spells. P Change of Heart, Painful Choice, Best Card of the Game. Pot of Greed, Con 5, Dark Hole, Prima. Like if all these power, Mirage and Nightmare, and the triple MSTs to pair against the Mirage and Nightmare and to ensure that we're popping our opponent's Imperial Order. Um, side deck is not anything too special or spicy. Um, as we see here, we have, you know, Faith's Mirage Knight to complement the Dark Flare when you pull it off off of Magician Magical Scientist. Sook, Duster Storm. Th these cards really aren't that good in this format because of the limited amount of back row. And then we have Meta Goats called the Haunted and Triple Psalm Judgment. Not anything too crazy, but at least it is time for us to kind of go through do to do some replays. And in this replay, we are playing as razzle dazzle and he was razzling and he was dazzling so we go through um uh, have the rock paper suit this is suit i had go first um we have 41 car 40 against 41 cards tomato dd war lady scientist torrential kaiku dark hall he has geki tribe virus faith io td and then duo so he's probably gonna fire he's gonna fire start to the thunder dragon should be firing the duo first Concealing information. He decides to do it right here. Hits us. Hits a good old torrential. I discard out the lady to get the light into the graveyard. We draw the light anyway. Seeing double thunder dragon. Uh, we're gonna scientist out. Um, go for senshi. Go for fiend skull because I forgot to put thousand eyes in my extra, which is completely fine. That shit happens, but we wanted to play around. Good old torrential. He passed. He goes. Sorry about that. We are back now. We go into the Kaiku, starts banishing off, obviously, probably the best card in the format here. Banishing off these cards, hitting off the Prima. He summons the Breaker, attacks over the Kaiku. Uh, we go cast Chaos Emperor Dragon, no Prio. We go to attack to maximize damage. And then we pay the thousand to wipe everything from the hand and the field, leaving him at uh, just 100 life points. He sets the Scientist. I'm going to get the clear it. He sets, I end up drawing a monster and attacking for game. Game number two, our friend Razzle. Dazzle goes first. He does the double Thunder Dragon, which absolutely blows. Buyers a Forceful Centric, taking the Kaiku, putting it back in the deck. Graceful Charity out. Um, going very aggressive here to try to ba start banishing some cards. Um, Kaiku out from the graveyard. We don't care about committing the Kaiku. We're losing to Rageki because we have another one in hand. Um, we're waiting for the Sang and Search here. Uh, get it from Magician of Faith. He yada, he tries a lot of yada lock to prevent the draw, but we have enough follow up here where it's fine. That's why. See, look, this is kind of the reason why Duster is not really too great in this format is because everything's chainable and we got the plus one, which is very very lovely. Uh, we know that this is uh sinister because we we kind of know his entire hand, so uh, we just take advantage of all the like good old Google format and just uh take that out of the graveyard. We lose here. We win there. 
and we end up going to our next match. Uh, our hand is just insane. We have the painful choice, Kafi, Greed, Reborn, Kaiku. And then he has the um, double MST with the Mirage and Nightmare, being able to get a plus four on his following turn. He should really hold that. He should really hold that. Going with the Confiscation, taking the Chaos Emperor out of the hand because we can't have that. Uh, painful choice. I should have sent more lights and more darks, but uh, that's okay. Pot agrees this is exactly why. Drawing in the Chaos Emperor. And then we pass. He reborns back out for Tribe. The scard's over. Summons the Breaker and goes in for big, big damage. Um, I fire back with the Dark Hall to clear the board. Some of the Sang and start attacking. Takes a thousand. He draws into Faith and sets some passes. Uh, Kaiku over to get back the Mirage and Nightmare once again. The Nightmare is still going. Sang and out. He draws BLS, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and then M has MST for the second Mirage the second time around, which is absolutely incredible. Um, Kaikuing out. These Kaikus are starting to take over the game. Cannot drop the BLS on there. This is why it's the best card in the format. Taking out some darks. He exiles over, but who cares? Um, and if we had the light here, obviously, we would have been able to drop the Emperor Dragon. The game would be over. But uh, be, but we but the game goes over anyway, right? So... Um, Next match we have here, he goes for Thunder Dragon to bring up the double TDs. Mirage, he's Forceful Sentry again, double Solemn Judgment and Snatch. I Prima, Dark Hall, Faith, Kaiku, and then uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon. So he fires for, uh, fires Forceful, sends back the Kaiku again because it's the best card in the format. Um, attacks over with Tribe. His job is, this is going to take a couple of damage here. Uh, Thunder Dragon comes out. He attacks again for 16, not really revealing the Mirror Force as of yet, but we Dark Hall anyway. Um, I'm glad I did because I wanted the Faith to stay alive, and obviously Delink do it, touches down. He rips the Chaos Emperor Dragon out of my hand with Chuck Thundra, which attacks. We attack for 11. Graceful Charity out. He's, he's able to get full advantage of that, which is absolutely disgusting, but this is why we play the triple DD Warrior Lady just out these cards, out Sinister Serpent, stuff of that nature. So there's a reason for the season right there. Snatches into Jinzo. I don't think Jinzo's a really good card in this format because of the limited amount of traps. He even locked himself out a little bit. Uh, tribe to out. Take 16. Premature out. Get another 11 in. Just want to try to keep his life points down so he cannot uh, Emperor Dragon me, even though I think I already, he already did do that. Mirage right there. He's miraging out. I MST during the end phase. He has the judgment to protect it, and he's able to draw four cards on his turn. Unfortunate. But we have the confiscation. He saw him judgment set. Uh, we do not have a big amount monster enough, so we're, he's going to drop BLS and start attacking for game. What a crazy game that was. So now I go first now. So um, – we open Faithful Choice again in Duo. So Duo comes down. Uh, we hit the Dark Hall and he hits the Mirage. Uh, we hit the we do we do Painful Choice correctly, so we get the Light and Darks in Graveyard. Um, we flip over, call the Torrential out. Uh, they search the Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon to get the two cards. We want to make this card destruction nice and juicy. Uh, Breaker out, and then we're gonna drop the uh, Emperor Dragon anyway. Fire the card destruction to get more resources out of his deck. Um, unfortunately that we drew like very awesome too, but, uh, it is what it is. Um, we ended up clearing the entire hand and field. He takes 3,300 points of damage. Uh, we get Sinister back. Sinister starts swinging in because why not? Right. Um, attack with this. And then, uh, he goes for Kaiku again. I noticed that he's not using the card in hand. Um, we don't care. We get back tribe. Uh, we try back out, destroy, and then attack over. Drop down 25, main phase two, try to confiscation. He flips the order. Uh, snatch deals out. And then attacks us for... I, I got a little confused there. Because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! We do get confused when we play Yu-Gi-Oh! Matt does not up. Uh, premature Burial, getting back to Kaiku to swing right in. He mirror forces us, we set and pass, and then he has the BLS for the game there. We open up the match number three now. Match number three for the tiebreaker, Razzle Dazzle. Uh... He opens Forceful Century again. This is the game of, we cannot because that's this is that's the thing with this format. We cannot be upset at this format because shit like this happens to everybody. So in a way, it gets you less salty at you. Yo, this is the reason to play this format. Summon Tomato. Tomato gets that uh, Mirage and Nightmare. I decide to draw out. If we hit MST, that's great. If we don't, why not? We're just loading our grave with lights and darks. Darks directly with the Exiled Force. 
Uh, now he's able to discard three cards. We hit the serpent, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I'm not too sure if he hits it here or not. Well, but yeah, it looks like we got hit right here, which is very nice. So we're able to get that back there on the standby phase. And then Kaiku runs out too. We get the sinister back, normal summon the warrior lady, attack in. And we're overall just like in a very nice spot. And we draw two off the Mirage. Um, and the Mirage resolves. So hopefully we're able to get Serpent to get chucked again. We do not, unfortunately. But we are able to set up for a better Mirage next turn while we have uh, fodder through Thunder Dragon and Warrior Lit. And we set the Warrior Lady, draw a card. We draw a hit. We hit Change of Hearts, um, which is amazing. So we ended up like not MSTing here because we want maximum value, right? So uh, we decided to set the entire hand and then draw three new cards and then MST out. So we end up to get all of our hand advantage back. We draw the Imperial Order, which is very, very strong. Um, we flip it here, and the game is over. Na game number two of match number three. Um, going in, we have Pot Duo, MST. We have, but he has Forceful Century again. Oh, my God. So frustrating, but we can't be because we play Forceful Century too. So Duo out. Um, tomato comes down, hits over 14. Um, Stigiko comes comes crashing down. MST's for the back row. That's the other reason why not to play. Uh, change of heart thought I was going to hit, uh, but we traded so poorly this game. What are you going to do? Um, we thought we were going to change our heart for Magician of Faith, get a card back that we really needed. But uh, it's unfortunate the way it is. Uh, Summon DD War Lady, attack over the Tomato. Tomato, get the Witch, which run over the uh, Raigeki, and then he tries to go off a of Thunder Dragon, which is very nice. Um, Raigeki over. We were able to get Thunder Dragon ourselves, uh, which is insane. If which was legal in go for him, then he she would be able to wait, search uh, a light essentially that you could just discard. Uh, thundering out. Uh, it doesn't matter if we Raigeki or anything like that because you're just going to normal summon a creature and attack again. Probably not searching TD was a good idea. And then this hand is the god hand. The god hand. This game is over. We're able to do, we're pull, able to pull up the Yada Lock combo just right from the get go. Um, painful choice out all these cards. Get this back. Premature burial back out the witch. Just discard Lock, Banish Light and Dark. Get the Chaos Emperor. Send everything from hand and field to graveyard. Deal about half damage. Search Yada Grasso and put him on one draw. The one draw that he's on is Snatch Deal, and that game is over because the yada lock prevents him from drawing another card each turn and he cannot snatch deal yada garasu and that is what pig Yu-Gi-Oh looks like in the year of 2004 very fun format could really go back and forth there was moments where you open broken and you just lose every game anyway but i hopefully you guys like this content a little different than the usual but wanted to show off some very very cool Yu-Gi-Oh and getting sacked by forceful sentry Yada, Garasu, Graceful Cherry, and the like. So with that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe for more retro, mostly Edison, Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Have a great day. Bye.